This is 9.1 Endocrine System Notes. The essential question is, how do hormones work to regulate body systems, and how do anterior and posterior pituitary differ in function? Endocrine system is made up of various types of endocrine glands that are located throughout the body. The endocrine glands produce and secrete various types of hormones, which are carried in the blood, and then they have effect on other parts of the body. Hormones are the chemicals that are produced by the endocrine glands. They are produced in one part of the body, then they get released into the blood, and then they are sent to the target organs or target cells where they will actually carry out the uh, functions of whatever the hormones are supposed to do. The hormone Levels are controlled by the negative feedback, which means that if there are too much hormones in the blood, then it's going to decrease the production of hormones. If there is a drop in the level of hormone, then it's going to increase the production of the hormones. The negative feedback mechanism does not only apply to hormone levels, they also apply to levels of any types of uh, changes, pH, temperature. So in this example, if there is a low pH in the duodenum, duodenum is the first portion of the small intestine, the enzymes that are located in the duodenum work in a neutral pH, which is around pH of 7. A low pH would indicate that the duodenum is acidic, which means that the enzymes cannot work. So a stimulus would be the low pH is detected. Then S cells in the duodenum will secrete a hormone called secretin. That secretin will be released into the blood, then carried to the target cell. In this case, the target cell is the pancreas. Then what the pancreas is going to do is release a chemical called the bicarbonate, and that's going to neutralize the acidic pH and raise it up to the pH of 7 and that will be the response is the neutralization of the pH and then it will go back to the neutral pH. That will be a negative feedback. Some neurotransmitters act as hormones. Examples of those are cortisol, aldosterone, estrogen, and testosterone and epinephrine, norepinephrine, and histamine are some of the neurotransmitters that act as hormones. The diagram above A is showing you a neurotransmitter acting as a hormone. You see an axon with a nerve impulse traveling down the axon. Then at the end of the axon, you see this blue dots, which are your neurotransmitters being released into the synapse. Then the neurotransmitter is going to bind to a receptor on this cardiac muscle, and then it's going to have an effect on the cardiac muscle. The second example is the gland, endocrine gland, releasing a hormone, which is in the green dots. It gets released into the bloodstream, then it gets carried to the target cell, which will then have an effect on the target cell. There are three endocrine glands in the brain. The first one is pineal gland, which is located just posterior to the uh, thalamus. They, the hormone that the pineal gland produces is the melatonin, and they control your sleep cycle, wakefulness, alertness, and the temperature. Hypothalamus is just anterior and inferior to the thalamus. Recall that the hypothalamus is a relay center for every information coming into the brain, but it also produces two hormones that help regulate and stimulate the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland hangs off the inferior portion of the hypothalamus just behind the optic chiasma. The pituitary gland is called the master gland because the hormones that the pituitary gland produces control other endocrine organs to uh, produce other hormones and control other body functions. The anterior portion makes and releases hormones, and they are the, under the control of the hypothalamus. The posterior lobe 
Their job is to store and secrete the hormones that are made in the hypothalamus, such as the antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin, and then gets released uh, into the body when it's um, needed. The antidiuretic hormone, or ADH, their job is to regulate fluid balance by increasing the retention of fluid in the body and decreasing urine production. The oxytocin, their job is to stimulate contraction of the uterus during labor and allows the milk to come in when the mother has just had given birth to a baby. The follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, stimulates egg maturation in females and also release sex hormones in males and females. The luteinizing hormone, the LH, is involved in development of the ovaries and the testes. Adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, stimulates the adrenal gland to release cortisol. And the human growth hormone, HGH, they stimulate the growth during infancy and puberty. Prolactin controls milk production. Oxytocin allows the milk to come in, but prolactin is the one that actually produces the milk. Thyroid stimulating hormone, obviously, uh, sti uh, stimulates the thyroid gland and it controls metabolism and releases the hormone thyroxine. Melanocyte stimulating hormone, MSH, uh, stimulates the production of melanin in the skin, which causes tanning and allows for the darker hair color, the eye color, and the skin color. 9.1 notes homework. How do, number one, how do the anterior and posterior pituitary, dif uh, pituitary gland different in function? Number two, describe the mechanism of the negative feedback. Number three, why is the pituitary gland called the master gland?